So my database uh, currently has a table for things called thing that has a thing ID, thing name, and thing picture in it. I have a table for a person that has a person ID, a person last name, and a person first name. But what if I want people to be able to be associated with certain things? Um, I want to keep my database nice and normalized, which means there's not a lot of extra copies of all the fields everywhere. So it wouldn't make sense to take this person and add fields for things. And also, it would be kind of impossible, right, because a person could have multiple things. Um, and I wouldn't want to add people into my thing table because more than one person might own the same things. So I need to come up with a way to sort of join these two things together. And I'm going to do that by making a little tiny table that basically just has a person's ID and a thing ID mapped together. And then for everything the person owns, they can have a separate entry in this new table. So let's go... Um, back to my things main page here and make a new table. I'm going to call this people's uh, things. And it's only going to have two columns. Okay. And it's going to have a person ID. And it's going to have a thing ID. And actually neither of those is going to be a primary key because um, they might both repeat in the table, so they're not going to be unique identifiers, but I don't need them to have a unique identifier for this particular table. Okay, so now I have this extra little table here, and so the way that I can map a person to a thing, so let's map Bethany to have a book and a soda. So person ID is one, and then if I look at thing, um, I've got to use one and two for the book and the soda. So in this table, I'm just going to insert some data right away here. So I'm going to make person one is going to own a book, and person one is going to own a soda. And I'm going to do that. So I have a couple entries in my table. Let's just see if that worked. If I browse them. Yes, yeah, so I got person with ID one owning, owning thing with ID one, and person with ID one owning thing with ID two. Um, so now I've got this thing, and I've used it to sort of join these two tables. And what I can do is I can query this thing to figure out what person one owns, and then I can pull that information out of the thing table um, using these IDs that are stored in here. But we'll see that in the next video.